A local university is in mourning tonight after a graduate student was killed. Three other students injured in a two-car crash here on Route 95 in Attleboro. Massachusetts State Police have identified the two people killed as 28-year-old Sean St. Louis from Providence and 23-year-old Mariotti Condi of Los Angeles. Iowa News News reporter Kate Walsh is live at Brown University with what police say happened and how the victim is being remembered tonight. Kate. Well, Mike and Shannon, just behind me is University Hall here at Brown University, and that's where Mariori Kandi worked in the dean's office. She was also a graduate student here. She and one other person were killed in that early morning crash, and we've also learned that three other members of the Brown University community were hurt in that crash. Brown University in mourning. Students still on winter break learning via email that four of their own were involved in a crash early Thursday morning. One graduate student described as having a promising bright future, 23-year-old Mariori Kandi of Los Angeles was killed. Eyewitness News obtained a copy of an email Brown sent to students and staff saying a fellow graduate student was still in the hospital and two recent undergrads were treated and released. According to Massachusetts State Police, they were all with a fifth person in a hundred Day GST driving down the middle lane of 95 South in Attleboro just before 1 30 Thursday morning when a Kia Soul swerved from the right lane crashing into the back of the Hyundai. The driver and only person in the Kia, 28 year old Sean St. Louis of Providence, was also killed. State police say it appears St. Louis was speeding at the time of the crash, but the investigation continues into what caused him to lose control. For hours Thursday morning, 95 South in Attleboro was closed. In Brown's email obtained by eyewitness news, the community remembered Condi saying, quote, as many know firsthand, Mariori was deeply connected to Brown's community of first generation college students and those from low income families. The email added she was, quote, also a treasured student staff member in the office of the dean of the college. Through her undergraduate studies, she worked in University Hall, ensuring that students, staff and visitors alike were welcome and supported. Anyone who knew Condi was invited to meet this afternoon here at Brown so that they could speak with each other as well as with grief counselors if needed. And new at 6 o'clock tonight, we'll explain to you how she's being remembered by others in Providence not associated with Brown. Live in Providence tonight, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Michaela. Eyewitness News moving to Attleboro now. The investigation continues tonight into the early morning crash on 95 that claimed the lives of two people. We've learned one of the victims was a student at Brown University, and tonight we're learning more on how she helped people beyond the boundaries of the campus. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh joins us live with the new details. Kate. Mike and Shannon, I spoke with several people today, both on campus and on the phone, who said they were simply too sad and shocked to speak on camera about Mariotti Condi, one of the people killed in that early morning crash. And while she was from Los Angeles and here for school, we discovered Condi made quite the impact, not just on campus, but in the greater community. Brown University and the greater Providence community mourn the loss of two young people killed in a tragic car accident on Route 95 South in Attleboro just before 1.30 Thursday morning. Massachusetts State Police say 28-year-old Sean St. Louis of Providence was the only person in a Kia Soul when the vehicle swerved into the middle lane at high speeds, crashing into a Hyundai with five people inside. St. Louis was killed. 23-year-old Mariori Condi of Los Angeles, a Brown University graduate student and employee of the dean's office was also killed. Eyewitness News obtained an email that Brown University sent to students and staff notifying them of the tragedy and that another graduate student was still in the hospital with injuries. Two recent undergraduates were also treated and released. State police say a fifth person was also in that car. While investigators try to figure out what caused the Kia to crash into the Hyundai, Condi is remembered as creating organizations for Latin Americans and being a warm, welcome presence on campus. She's also remembered as being a beloved teacher and tutor at Breakthrough Providence, an organization working to empower youth in the city. In their email, Brown University said they have reached out to Condi's family, offering to help in any way that they can. They've also offered grief counseling to people who are already back on campus, though we're told undergraduate students return in just over a week from winter break. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.